Example number two, solving a problem that involves independent events using a graphic organizer. All 1,000 tickets for a charity raffle, I'm just going to underline 1,000, have been sold and placed in a drum. There will be two draws, okay? The first draw will be the grand prize, and the second draw will be the consolation prize. After each draw, the winning ticket will be returned to the drum so it might be drawn again. Ha! This right here is our ticket showing that it is an independent event. Because if it was not replaced, then the denominator would go from 1,000 tickets to only being able to pick out of 99 tickets. So since the ticket is returned, this is what makes it independent. So our buddy Max has bought five tickets. Determine the probability to a tenth of a percent. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky to unpack at the end, but a tenth of a percent that he will win at least one prize. Whew! So we got cases, we have independent events, we have a tenth of a percent. I think we've got a good question here. So, first things first, let's define our sets. Let x represent uh, chances of winning the grand prize. Oh, <laughs> price. Prize. And let y represent chances of winning the consolation prize. So that means that if you don't win, that's x prime, and if you don't win the consolation prize, that's y prime. So the probability of max winning the grand prize is going to be 5 out of 1,000. That means the probability of max not winning is going to be 995 out of 1,000. Those things go hand in hand. So the probability of winning the consolation prize, same thing, 5 out of 1,000. And the probability of not winning is going to be $995. Sorry, is going to be 995 out of 1000 tickets. Cool. So let's draw this uh, let's draw this tree diagram. So the first leg of the journey is going to be our grand prize. The second leg is going to be our consolation. winning or not winning the grand prize, and then winning or not winning the consolation prize. So probability of winning is 5 out of 1,000. Probability of not winning the grand prize is 995 out of 1,000. The consolation prize chances of winning are 5 out of 1,000. Chances of not winning is 995 out of 1,000. So we're just looking at the different options here. You can either, like, you can win the grand prize and win the consolation prize, or you can win the grand prize and lose the consolation prize. You can lose the grand prize and you get it. Win the, uh, the consolation prize. Or you can lose the grand prize and also lose the consolation prize. Oh. So I'm just going to highlight. Let's look back at the question here. It says win at least one prize. So that means what we're going to do is we are going to add up the different uh, legs of this journey here. So at least one prize. That means he can win both. He can win one. This one being he, he won the grand prize, or he can win just the consolation prize. We're not going to take into consideration this one, though 
if you think about it, the probability is quite high that he will uh, he will not uh, he will win neither of them. Okay, so probability of winning at least one is going to be okay. So I'm just going to give different symbols for the different things. So for the asterisk journey, that means that he wins both. That's going to be 5 out of 1,000 times 5 out of 1,000. And the heart journey is going to be he wins the grand prize, but he loses the consolation. So the winning the grand prize is going to be 5 out of 1,000 times losing the, the consolation prize, 995 out of 1,000. Plus the diamond leg of the journey, losing the grand prize, so 995 over 1,000. Plus, oh sorry, multiplied by uh, winning the grand, uh, winning the consolation prize, 5 out of 1,000. Okay, so if I multiply this together, put this in my right calculator, it's going to be 0. 0.000025. Plus 0. 0.004975. Plus, and actually these two are the exact same. 0. 0.004975. This guy right here is going to be 0. 0.009975. So you're noticing that I'm not rounding until the end, right? I'm holding all the possible decimal places as much as I can. Now, this actually does terminate at 25. However, if it went on forever and ever and ever, my suggestion is just hold it in your calculator. Uh, don't don't try to write down uh, this step. Merely go from here to the final step because your calculator can do that. You can just you know um, multiply um, and put brackets, etc. So this right here is in decimal form. In percent, we want to multiply by a hundred, so it's going to be zero point nine nine seven five percent. But we need to round it to the nearest tenth. Because of the 9 beside it, that means that this goes up to 0 and 1. So it's nearly 1.0%. This right here is our final answer because it's specifically asked. Now, if you wanted to check to see if it's right, um, what you would do is you would keep this, but then you would also add 995 over 1,000 times 995 over 1,000. And if you added that to this right here, just like we did in the other example, you should get 100%. Because there are no other outcomes. You can either win or lose the grand prize. You can either win or lose the consolation prize. There are no other outcomes. So that means if we add up all the probabilities for each leg of each uh, of this, these journeys, you should add up to 1.